Lights out, I'm the favorite. Too many ways, been in your place, there's delays. Okay, you can barely see me because <laughs> it's so dark, but basically my friend and I had a really great time at the Great Jackal Lantern Blaze. It was really, really awesome. You walk through the whole thing, so because tonight was so rainy, it was quite muddy, so I would definitely make sure that you check the weather before you go. But um, it is rain or shine, so unless there's like lightning going on, then they will not close, and... Actually, a little bit of drizzle kind of, like, enhanced the mood. It was kind of annoying to have to, like, hold the umbrella over the whole time, but it was really, really fun, and they definitely put in a lot of work. I don't know how long it takes them, but all the artwork was, like, phenomenal. It was superb, so I highly recommend if you have one near you, if you're in the New York area, um, either Long Island or... Westchester, New York, I would definitely go and check it out. It's a really cool Halloween activity and like fall festive thing going on. So if you're looking for a way to spend your evening, I would highly recommend it as an option. Also, I am super congested. So um, these fall allergies are really not playing any games. But anyway, I'm going to go and take a shower and cozy on up in my bed. Wow, it's already dark at this hour. I can't believe how quickly fall has come. I am on my way to a Halloween party at my friend's place and I am dressed as comfy Barbie. I just got literal pink sweatpants and a t-shirt that says Barbie and that's what I'm doing. I also got those like classic pink triangular sunglasses so it should be a fun and comfy time. But, I don't know, I'm just, like, not one of those people who can get, like, super into costumes. Maybe, you know, maybe that'll change one day. Who knows? But at the moment, like, I'm all about that comfortable, like, might be able to reuse it, might be, you know, able to wear it with something else type of costume. It's actually the week before Halloween weekend, so it's a little early. Um, the only downside is we can't, like, go out around the area to, like, you know, bars or restaurants or whatever just because like we're all dressed up and it's not Halloween yet so that would just look really really weird so it's just gonna be like a low-key party inside you'll probably have some food play some games maybe watch a movie or something so it should be a fun time that's more my type of party anyway
I still have about 24 more minutes of the drive. So in total, you know, it will have taken about 40 minutes, which is really not bad, because with traffic, it could be way longer than that. Honestly, I think becoming an adult, well, part of becoming an adult means you start to have your friends like spread out a little bit more. And to be honest, I do feel quite grateful in that a lot of my old friends, like from high school and college, are still like pretty local, you know, like, like we're not halfway across the country. Like I think my farthest friend is still maybe about like a three hour drive away, which is not terrible. So I am definitely grateful for that. And most of my friends are much more local. So they're probably about like a 30 minute drive away from me. Lights out, I'm your favorite. Too many ways been in your place. I swear to God, I thought that was real. <laughs> Oh, Me too! Game, I thought your bangs were real. I, I thought his mustache I was real. Some year, I thought it was real. <laughs> do you like being a host or do you find it stressful? Be honest. <laughs> Don't ask Dan that question. <laughs> I know he finds it stressful. <laughs> of course he did. Hey guys, so it is almost midnight now and it was a really, really nice time that I had at the Halloween party. The birthday girl got to cut her cake as you saw and we played a bunch of games, just talked and it was a really nice time. Now I am going to head back. So enjoy some of the night footage and I will see you in a little bit. Good morning everyone so I'm on my way to the gym and I got in quite late last night I think I finally um, went to bed at 2 a.m. just because I wanted to shower and stuff after I got home I woke up had a mild headache I don't think I drank enough water when I got home so I'm a little dehydrated from like that one drink I had at the beginning of the night um, and I woke up like really hungry too, like in the mood for a burger. So I don't know, we'll see. After my workout, I might treat myself to something kind of yummy. I might want like, I don't know, like tteokbokki and kimbap. This is actually why I don't love alcohol so much because whenever I drink, I do like wake up the next day and I kind of feel off. So whereas I would have more control during the day, like about what I eat and stuff, like honestly right after alcohol I definitely am a little more lax about it and I have like interestingly unhealthy cravings okay I finished a really good workout and I am really glad I came through because at first I was like feeling really low on energy and this wasn't by any means my best workout but I still feel much much better than when I was driving to the gym so now it's time for food and I'm very excitedly looking through my options here. Now that I've worked out, I definitely am feeling like having something healthy. Bonk. Hello? 
고기 김밥. 네, 그리고 혹시 로제 떡볶이 2인분밖에 없던데 1인분도 나오나요? 아니요, 그거는 그냥 시장 떡볶이 드시면 돼요. 그래요. 네, 그거 할게요. 그래서 로제 떡볶이 하고 불고기 김밥. 네, 한 15분에서 20분 사이 걸려요. 네, 알겠습니다. So I got here a little early at the brunch spot, but it was so cute. I'm hungry. It was super rainy outside and I walked all the way here, so thank goodness I brought an umbrella. Because I'm still like kind of wet. <laughs>